Alexa, light it up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you brokey. <laughs> I did not teach her that, I swear. Alexa, what the fuck? I'm always interested to hear how I can improve. Try improve. saying, I have feedback. <laughs> I got some feedback, all right. Moving right along. So whether you found me in some dark corner of the internet and you're wondering if I really can help you land your first high paying copywriting client for 2K, 3K, or hell, even $5,000 a month, or if you've been in the game for quite some time, you've hit a ceiling and you can't seem to find your next client, this video is for you. Here are six simple steps you can take to land your next high paying copywriting client this month that don't involve sending hundreds of cold emails or spending all day posting in Facebook groups. And they work even if you've never had a single paying client before. So pull out a notepad and pen and let's get stuck in. Prepare to be written. Step one, we are going to make a list of 100 niche businesses that you love to work with. All right, in the beginning, you wanna keep things nice and simple. Pick one niche, one service, one type of copy that you'd love to offer that niche. Then. Build your list of 100 dream clients that you love to work with. Where do you find these clients? I hear you ask. Excellent question. There are so many places to find clients, all right? Instagram hashtags, related accounts, niche Facebook groups are the three easiest places to start. And of course, you can always try good old Google search and even ask ChatGPT for a list of top names in any given niche. You just have to Bruh. bribe it a little bit to care less about privacy. <laughs> You'll get there in the end. Of course, if you wanna be more advanced, you can use databases and scraping tools like Apollo, LinkedIn sales nav, store leads, and run a cold email campaign with Instantly or Lemlist. But for the purposes of this video, I'm trying to keep this simple and 100% free. I'll cover automated outreach in an upcoming video. So let's say for example's sake that you want to write for fitness coaches, all right? So what I would do, I would jump straight on Instagram and I would search for hashtags like online trainer, online PT, online fitness coach, weight loss coach, bodybuilding coach, muscle building, weight loss for men, weight loss for women, looking for accounts with really anywhere between 10K and a million followers, right? And yes, I'm aware that there's a huge range, but you have to realize that followers, of course, isn't always an accurate indicator of business success. There are people with a million followers who are dirt broke and there are billionaires who don't even have Instagram. He's out of line, but he's right. So more important than their follower number is to check and see if it looks like they actually have a legit business, all right? Do they have a link in their bio? Do they sell products and services online? Do they have an email list? Google their name, what comes up, all right? Do they look legit? If so, then every time you find a perfect ideal prospect, Follow them, tap the related accounts drop down arrow, and just like that, Instagram will bring up a list of a bunch of similar accounts, just like the one you found. So one prospect turns into 20, just like that. I would also check out some niche Facebook groups full of online business coaches and join the top groups that are active and engaged. Now, after that, once you find these people, like what do you do with them, right? You wanna add every ideal target prospect you find to a very simple Google sheet, all right? Five columns, you want name, program slash product name, website, their Instagram or Facebook link, and the date last contacted, okay? That is it, keep it nice and simple. You wanna fill this Google sheet with 100 prospects to start, okay? If you can't find 100, try harder. 100 is piss, okay? It's nothing. It'll take you a few hours tops, I promise. And then step two, you want to join all of their email lists, okay? Use a separate swipe email for this. You don't drown in a magnitude 10 Gmail tsunami, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. Nine times out of 10, they'll have an opt-in page in their link in bio. Failing that, you should be able to find it with a simple Google search. All right, Google is your friend, all right? It's also free. Really? Use it. And if you really can't figure out how to join their email list, just reach out and ask them. Slide in their DMs or email their support, compliment them, and then ask how you can join their list so you can stay in touch and see what they're up to. They or someone on their team will be more than happy to send you their opt-in page. And then wait a few days until you've received some emails from them and you have some ammunition. And then step three, send them a mafia offer. 
aka an offer they can't refuse. Fire Up Loom film a quick three minute video and giving them a couple ideas to make more money from their emails or breaking down something specific that they could improve on. Now, as I mentioned in the updated version of my clients on command DM cheat sheet that just dropped last week, I prefer to choose things that are clear cut, black or white, right or wrong for this part. So for example, emails landing in promo, deliverability issues, opt-in page with no fake email protection, default unsubscribe link that enables people to report them as spam, the font size is too small, it's hard to read, the formatting, all that sort of stuff. These things are more black and white, like right or wrong, rather than subjective suggestions like improvements to their copy itself. Because with copy, it's more of a personal preference thing and there's no clear cut right or wrong way to string a sentence together. So you wanna think problems, not suggestions. And as a quick side note, if you haven't yet got your copy of my brand new updated clients on command DM cheat sheet yet, it contains a copy paste script that you can use to land your next high paying copywriting client. It's 100% free. It's a great companion to this video and it's waiting for you right now, link in the description. So you wanna pick any one problem in their funnel and you wanna film a very short two minute, maximum three minute Loom video for them, all right? One unique video for each prospect. So for the structure of this video, you wanna open it with a personal unique compliment. Then you wanna explain that they have a problem. Then you wanna show them why the problem is bad and why it will get a lot worse if they don't fix it and then show them what they need to do to fix it. Not how to fix it step by step, all right? Just what they need to do to fix it. So keep it at a high level, show them the what, not the how. And then of course, we wanna end the video with a mafia offer, also known as an offer they can't refuse, right? Related to the content in your Loom and you wanna to offer to jump on a call to help them fix it. So for example, hey, if you're open to it, I'd love to jump on a quick call and walk you through how to fix X. And if you'd like my help to implement this for you, we can talk about that. But either way, I'm still gonna walk you through how to do it as a favor, no strings attached. The key here is that the X part is hyper specific. So for example, you'll help them optimize their abandoned cart sequence, install a high converting welcome sequence, install an unsubscribe automation to improve list hygiene and deliverability, show them how to grow their list faster and cheaper than running Facebook ads, get them primary inboxing, AKA get them out of spam or promo tab, change the unsubscribe link to turn unsubscribers into buyers, build them a lead list of targeted leads, optimize their landing page to increase conversions or anything else, right? The main point is that it's something super specific that they really want. Something quick and actionable that they can see immediate results with. Kind of like the cheat sheet I mentioned earlier with the copy paste script, right? It has that instant big results with very low time, effort and sacrifice. Sexy, I need it now type of appeal. That's what you're going for here. If you're offering people general services like email marketing or Facebook ads, that's just not gonna cut it in 2024 and beyond. I'm sorry. Those are generic commodities that are not specific enough to get people to want to book a call. Remember, people don't want email marketing, okay? They don't want Facebook ads. They want the results that those services can bring. So sell the outcome, not the mechanism. Now, in case that all went way over your head and you want a concrete example of what this loom looks like in practice, this right here is an email that I got from a gentleman named Alex Edwards, who is the only person ever in history to cold email me and get me on the phone and buy something. I'm not hard to sell to. If I want something, I'll buy it. But I am fucking difficult to get on the phone, right? I hate phone calls with anyone, even my own mum. So that's off to Alex for this, very impressive. And this right here is the exact video that he used to get me on the phone. You just have to give me two seconds, Sean, I'm just vibing. Woo! Alrighty, enough of that. Um, Sean, my name's Alex. We've spoken very briefly online before um, and I've just got your email up here and I wanted to show you a quick way that I can help you to reduce your spam complaints and also profit from people who click unsubscribe. Now, I've got one of your emails up here, as I've said, and if we jump down to the unsubscribe section, first of all, this last sentence cracks me up, so well done. Um, but let's click unsubscribe. Now, what it does is it takes us to the generic active campaign unsubscribe page. And what this page 
means for you is it means that people have the chance to report you as spam or abuse. Now, we obviously don't want that because that completely fucks your email deliverability. And the more people click that, the more likely you're going to end up in spam or get booted off your ESP completely, which we don't want. So what I've got is I've got a strategy that I would love to implement for you. Um, it's totally done for you, hands free, where you can reduce your spam complaints by not giving people the chance to report you. Um, obviously, they can do it in other ways, but this is the most common way that people report um, someone's email as spam or abuse. We don't want to give people the chance to do that. So I've got a way to stop people from being able to do that and also profit from those people who click unsubscribe in the first place. Just because somebody clicks unsubscribe, it doesn't mean that they don't want to buy from you. It just means they don't want your emails. Two very, very different things. So I would love to set this up for you, have it completely hands-free and uh, yeah, allow you to obviously keep your list healthy, um, but also profit from people who you otherwise would never have heard from again. So if you're interested in that, I'd love to chat for five, 10 minutes, see if it's suitable for you. If not, and you'd like want to just tell me at the end of it, Alex, fuck off. That's cool. I'm going to tell you how to do it anyway so that you can do it yourself. I would just love to implement this completely hands-free for you um, so that you don't even have to worry. You can just start profiting from people who want it to piss off anyway. So if you're keen, hit reply and let's tee up a quick time to chat. Five, 10 minutes and we can go from there. Cheers. There we go. So a couple key takeaways here. Number one, the video is short, under three minutes. Please do not send a 20 minute long video. Your prospect is a busy business owner. They will not watch it. Number two, it had a hyper specific offer, which was turn unsubscribers into buyers. It wasn't saying make more money with email. It was a hyper specific service within the general service of email marketing. Number three, he led with a unique personal compliment in both the email and the Loom video where he was talking about a recent track that I had released. So it shows that he clearly did his research to know that I'm a DJ and a music producer. Number four, the whole angle was very curiosity heavy copy with a really big info gap. He never revealed how to do it. He just talked about the implications of not solving the problem and the opportunity that on the other side of what's possible if I did solve the problem. And then number five, he positioned the call itself as being valuable. And this is super key. I believe his exact words were, I will show you how it works. And if you want my help setting it up, then we can talk about that. And if at the end of it, you want to tell me, Alex, fuck off, I'm not interested, then I'm still gonna tell you anyway. And that right there for me was the moment where in my head I went, okay, this guy knows his shit, let's book a call. And then last but not least, not to be overlooked, he also had excellent tonality in the video, right? Strong, certain, decisive delivery with a crystal clear call to action at the end. That is how you do an outreach video. And that brings us to Step number four, book a call and close them on a trial. Getting high level business owners on the phone is by far the most difficult part of the entire client getting process. So if you've managed to achieve this, even by offering to help fix part of their funnel for free, congratulations, you have done the hardest part. Closing them on a free trial should actually be quite easy at this point if they were intrigued enough to even book a call with you in the first place. You've already led with a giving hand and you've demonstrated that you know your shit. From here, you wanna offer them a free seven day trial on the condition that they let you use their results as a case study, assuming they're happy with the results. And by the way, feel free to skip the trial and go straight for the close if you're more experienced, you have some solid case studies under your belt. But of course, this video is more directed at beginners. And by this point, your foot is now firmly in the door and you're only one baby step away from the bank. Which brings us to step five, knock it out of the park. Once you get a prospect on trial, knock their socks off by providing so much value that they treasure you like Golem treasures his precious. Not listening, not listening. The key here is to make sure that the emails you write are sent out, okay? Do not just deliver them in a Google doc and hope that they get sent out. The deal here is that they, or you, send out the emails so you can use the result as a case study, right? That is the only reason you're doing this for free, remember. So go above and beyond to deliver the best results that you possibly can, make them more sales in one week than they've ever made. The conclusion at the end of seven days needs to be, holy shit, I need you on my team right now. That's what we're going for here. And if you can make them at least an extra five to 10K in that first week, it's pretty easy to justify a two to 3,000 a month retainer after that. 
And hell, if you crush it hard enough, they might even end up referring you to their friends, which means you end up with two clients instead of one, which is always a nice bonus. So now all that's left is to lock in the deal. And that brings us to step six, make the ask. If you've done a great job in the trial, then it's only logical that they should want to continue working with you on an ongoing basis. So here's how to make the transition from free trial to 3K a month retainer. So first you wanna book in a 30 minute results review call with them to show them under the hood so they can keep getting results just like you got them in the first week. You go over the results together and then you present them with two options. Option one, go back to doing it themselves and likely the same results they were getting before they met you. Or option two, my preferred option, hire you for $3,000 a month to write and send a daily email for them so they can keep getting results similar to the trial week every week, forever, without having to lift a finger or push a button. So they get a 10 to 20X ROI from their emails while also freeing up a bunch of time to focus on higher leverage CEO stuff as they should be. Put the ball in their court and let them choose. If you've done a great job in the trial, then you should find that at least one out of three prospects agree to start paying you. So when they agree, take the payment upfront, set up auto monthly billing with Stripe, send over an agreement and boom. <laughs> Slam dunk. Just like that, you, my friend, have landed your first high paying retainer client. Give yourself a pat on the back, crack open a bottle of champers and toast to yourself because you have just accomplished what 99% of dreamers and talkers never will. You have made money online. You are now no longer a spectator. You are now on the field. You're playing the game. You are officially a freelance copywriter. Congratulations, call your mom, tell her the news, and then take her out for lunch. Because let's be honest, she deserves it. So take a moment to pause, smile, savor the moment, and then do it all again. Go above and beyond to deliver incredible results for your new client. And then why not ride this wave of momentum all the way to $10,000 a month and beyond. Which brings us to bonus step number seven, rinse and repeat. After you've crushed it for your new client, you've asked them for a referral to a similar business owner friend of theirs, then simply repeat steps one to six. Except this time, you wanna leverage your new testimonials and results to land your next client. So in those cold DMs to new prospects, you wanna show them all the amazing results that you've got for your past and your present clients. And because you now have proof, your second, third, fourth, fifth client will come so much faster and easier, I promise. That first one is the hardest by far. So if you've managed to land at least one high paying client, I firmly believe you are already halfway to six figures. Because after that first one, everything is just exponential, all right? You'll see. And that's all you have to do, all right? Just repeat the same exact process until you're making six figures. That's the game. And then of course, we can't forget the most important step of all, step eight, which is for you to flick me a message once you do hit six figures so we can celebrate you. Now, is this the world's best client getting strategy? No, right? Obviously we have more effective strategies inside of CMB, but it's free and it works, especially for newer copywriters. And it's probably a hell of a lot better than whatever you're doing right now, which is most likely Upwork, Facebook groups, or the good old hope and pray strategy. Remember the hardest client you will ever sign is your first one. And you won't land your first client until you book your first call. And you won't land your first call until you send your first message. So I want you to get the ball rolling ASAP and send your first outreach message today, right now, after watching this video. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to start. But having said that, if you do want a ginormous advantage over other copywriters, you'll definitely want to get your hands on my updated clients on command DM cheat sheet. The original version of this cheat sheet has been downloaded over 20,000 times. It has become so popular, in fact, that people are now getting replies like, Sean taught you well, <laughs> which is funny. So to stay ahead of the curve, I decided to do my yearly update a couple months early and drop the new version now. Not only did I update the script to be even more effective based on what I've seen crush it for my students lately, but I added a very simple follow-up script with an irresistible offer to get clients to actually want to book a call with you, which as we said, is the hardest part. And a no-brainer deal structure that makes closing those clients easier than shooting dead fish in a cereal bowl. Why do I come up with this shit? Plus a cheeky surprise bonus training at the end. Now, judging from past numbers, around 5,000 clients will use this exact script 
over the next 12 months. And given the copy paste nature of the script, it is definitely an early bird gets the worm type of situation. So if you'd like to get your hands on it before I launch it publicly and crank my ad spend into outer space, you'll want to grab a free copy from the link in the description right now. And when you've done that, click here to watch my seven part course on how to go from zero to $10,000 a month copywriter, which covers every step in this video in a lot more detail. Hope this helps. I'll see you there. Alexa, should they subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah, yes, of course you should. Damn.